Hello and welcome to a Theme Park Worldwide News Update. Now, earlier on this evening, Blackpool Pleasure Beach announced that they are hoping to reopen the park on the 4th of July 2020. This is the same date that Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington World of Adventures and Legoland Windsor are also hoping to reopen the park, as we spoke about in our news update last week. Um, now, certainly this is fantastic news. This, of course, is still subject to change in line with government guidance. However, in terms of how things are looking at the moment, that seems to be the day uh, when the UK will be ready to move into that next stage and more hospitality can start to open and theme parks will be a part of that. Uh, now, they've not just announced the planned opening date for Blackpool Pleasure Beach, they've also completely updated the website and put some new information on there with some of the new rules, restrictions uh, that are going to be going into place for visiting Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So I thought we'd go through them now and just have a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a look at it all. So here we go. Here's the first sort of uh, part of the website that we can see here. Very nicely presented from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And of course, you can see their statement at the top that I'll uh, read out for you now. So Blackpool Pleasure Beach is preparing to reopen respectfully and safely. We'll be introducing a range of new policies and procedures to ensure our amusement park remains as safe as possible for all guests. In line with current government guidance, we expect to be able to reopen Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the 4th of July 2000. 2020. In the meantime, please take a look at these measures that we are putting into place as we prepare to welcome you back. So really nice, simple statement there from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, um, giving you all of this information. Uh, and if we move down here, you can see some more uh, information now about what you're going to be needing to do um, to go to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And also once you're there, some of the different regulations that will be in place. So along with telling you about this, I'll share my thoughts as we go along with them as well. So um, the first thing is that you will need to book in advance to visit Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, there's also going to be a new e-ticket allowing you to enter the park as soon as you arrive. So of course Blackpool Pleasure Beach is very different to the likes of Alton Towers for example that operates as a theme park where you would buy a ticket and you would go in and then you wouldn't need to have a wristband or scan before the rides or anything like that. Blackpool Pleasure Beach is different and it does have that system where you need an entry pass and then you actually you need to do your wristband to scan at the entrances to the ride. From what it sounds like here, they've got this new e-ticket. Of course, this is all to avoid contact and all that sort of stuff and also make it easier um, to get into the park. You won't have to sort of queue up twice, um, so to speak, you know, as you do um, normally uh, to pick up your wristbands and then at the entrance turnstiles to the park. Um, so this sounds fantastic. Uh, it's certainly something that uh, I think will be really interesting to see in action at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, especially because they've not really done anything like this before. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to pre-book and get this new e-ticket. Now, does that mean that, of course, with there being no wristbands, you're not going to have to scan at the entrances to the ride? Um, I, I can see that possibly uh, being the thing here as well um, because it's all about contact and, and touching surfaces and that sort of stuff. If you've got a wristband, even if you're trying to scan it, um, you know, it's one of them things, isn't it, where you're going to be touching it. So from the sound of this, um, it looks as though you're not going to be needing that, but it's not 100% clear. However, the fact that... Um, they've said that you know it's just going to be like a normal ticket to enter the park seems to me um, like you know you're not actually going to need to have a wristband to scan um, at the entrances to the rides we know there's going to be no wristband so you wouldn't really need to have to scan anything so it'll operate like a normal theme park not as an amusement park from from the sounds of that um, now they've also said here as well of course some of the, the standard stuff that you can expect um, of course don't visit if you've got symptoms of COVID-19 uh, and they've also said here as well that the uh, may have to ask us to check our temperature at the park entrance. That's something that we've now seen in action at Alton Towers and Warwick Castle. Check out our two vlogs if you've not yet seen them. Uh, one went on a couple of days ago and the other one earlier today um, from Warwick Castle. So check that out. You'll see exactly what Merlin Entertainment uh, have been doing in terms of the temperature checks. Uh, they've also said here social distancing of course all throughout the park. They're going to be limiting the capacity into Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, and of course they're going to be uh, monitoring that on a daily basis to give you a safe and enjoyable uh, day out. Um, for the safety of yourself, other guests and our team, please follow the new guidelines when planning and during your visit. So yeah, some nice clear information. Uh, and here's a little look at the e-ticket itself um, that you can see that they're displayed on a phone. It's got a QR code on there. It says entry and riding on there as well. Um, so yeah, I'd imagine that once you're in the park, um, that's going to be it. Much like when you go Alton Towers, you know, you're in the park, um, you won't need to scan anything by the looks of this uh, from what we can see. 
unless they maybe maybe scan that QR code um, on on the wristband scanners at the rides, but I, I can't really see that happening. It seems to me like they're limiting it, you know, it's that capacity. So it's going to avoid that whole thing where you don't need to touch things with, with your wristband. So um, yeah, you know, I really like the idea of that. You can see a bit more uh, information there. It's an electronic ticket that'll be held on your phone or printed out um, by yourself before you arrive. So I look forward to seeing that in action and just seeing how it works for Blackpool Pleasure Beach actually operating in more of a normal theme park system instead of an amusement park system. You never know if it's something that works really well for them. They may look at that in the future, um, even once the pandemic has, you know, has moved on and that sort of thing. So, it, you know, it's all things to think about at the moment. Um, they've also said here some stuff what they're going to be doing to protect us during our visit. So there's more frequent and enhanced deep cleaning measures across the parks and attractions. Again, as expected, what we've seen from other attractions now um, all around the world. New hand sanitization facilities. Um, so wash your hands with soap and water. And of course, you can use the uh, dispensers that are going to be located around the park as well. Um, teams around the park will be equipped with a range of appropriate uh, personal protective equipment, PPE. Um, and this is to protect the team members and of course, us that are going to be visiting as well. Everyone who works at Blackpool Pleasure Beach will be temperature tested each day. Um, again, that's something what we've seen at the Merlin Parks. And now we go on to what to expect on our visit to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So uh, it says here, on arrival at the park and throughout your day, please look out for our ambassadors and follow their instructions. The team are here to help you answer any questions you may have and ensure all of our guests have a great visit. So, uh, you know, there's going to be plenty of staff about to help out uh, with all these restrictions and the social distancing me measures. Um, that the Pleasure Beach are putting into place. So, yeah, it seems quite nicely how they've done that. Um, it says here that the, the teams at the park have received training um, in all departments regarding uh, customer facing, behind the scenes roles, uh, temperature checks, of course, have been done on them as well before they go into work. So, you yeah, know, they've really thought about uh, everything about this reopening here. And they've introduced social distancing measures in queue lines around the park. And of course, you've got to strictly observe those um, when you are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. They've also said here that a dedicated plan for each ride has been developed and implemented in order to enable social distancing between groups. Um, so yeah, it says here it'll vary on each ride. So they've obviously looked at all the rides they've got, looked at the queue lines. Obviously, some of them have got cattle pens up and down queues. Some of them are probably already okay. They just need the markers down if they aren't already. Um, so yeah, it seems to me like they've, they've gone through all the attractions and really thought about which ones are going to be harder to maintain that social distancing. Uh, and we may have seen them edit parts of the queue line and that sort of thing just to, uh, to to make that easier for people to obey whilst they're at the park. Uh, and also said here, uh, to help us enable social distancing during your visit, the direction of travel along some of our walkways has been changed. You've got to think, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is a much smaller park than the likes of Alton Towers and even Thorpe Park and stuff. So, you know, they've really got to think about how they're, they're going to get guests around the park. So one way, an example of this can be um, like the walkway that leads up from down by the flying machines. Uh, up past the ice arena that's quite narrow so maybe they might do that as uh, down only and you have to go up at the other side by river caves maybe you know that's another ramp um, they could or do it vice versa but that's sort of what I can expect we might be seeing from the fact they said they've got one way markers um, I, I look at them as two examples but there's so many places at Pleasure Beach where there's some small little paths uh, where I can see them doing one way round a bit of a circular sort of walkway they might be able to do around parts of the park here's an interesting one then and this is very different to what we know so far about the Merlin operations it says some rides may require you to wear a face covering please bring a suitable face covering with you uh, we suggest bringing two however they will be available to purchase at Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well you can actually pre-order them already now on the Pleasure Beach website of course I've got my theme park worldwide one ready uh, you may have seen it in the two vlogs that we filmed already out and about at Alton Towers and Warwick Castle um, but yeah, they're going in with and saying you've got to wear them on some of the attractions. This was what I was expecting from the Merlin Parks, actually. Um, I really thought they would do. I mean, it's been very different in, in countries and theme parks around the world, but um, it seems to me like they're going to be making you wear them on some attractions. I would imagine it might be some more of the dark rise, enclosed spaces, that sort of idea. Possibly the roller coasters as well. Um, I know a lot of people were concerned thinking, are they going to stay on on roller coasters? Um, but as we've seen at theme parks around 
around the world that have already reopened um, that do require you to wear face masks, uh, they are perfectly fine, uh, of course, on the rides. And if they do fall off, um, you know, it's not like it's anything really heavy that, that's really falling off, is it? You know, it's quite a, a, an item that's just going to blow off it, uh, away somewhere, you know, so um, nothing really too much to, to worry about there. But um, yeah, face coverings will need to be worn on some of the attractions, but we don't know which ones yet. And I imagine that's something that Pleasure Beach are still working on at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's certainly interesting that Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, you won't need to uh, wear face masks. You don't already if you're going to Alton Towers. Of course, for the gardens, it is optional. However, at Theme Park Worldwide, I will be wearing masks um, during my visits at theme parks. Probably have mask breaks at some point when we're away from people. Uh, but when we're in queue lines and on attractions, we'll be wearing uh, masks, um, at least initially, as, as things are at the moment. Uh, it says here as well, onto the next um, thing that they've put out. On some rides, it may be necessary for us to leave empty seats between guests, um, as expected. Uh, you know, we 100% knew that was going to be happening anyway, but of course we've got that in writing now and with a picture. Uh, be prepared to make contactless payments. Again, that's something we're seeing at a lot of parks. Um, they've said here, this is quite exciting, a new online food ordering system is being developed, allowing guests to order a selection of food during their visit from their mobile phone, which can be collected at a designated time and location. Our restaurants, cafes and take well units will be open, but please bear in mind they will operate in a different way. Uh, there's also additional outdoor seating around the park. Really like the idea of this, the fact that Pleasure Beach are going in there and doing like a, a mobile ordering app. It'll be like weather spoons, you know, where you can order something on an app. But really like the idea of that. It's something what Disney do, like the mobile ordering. So fair play to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for uh, really thinking about this. And I like the fact they're doing that. Something really, really different. And I like the fact that they're going in there and doing something different. Of course, with these videos and news updates, I'm not going to film a, an update every time a park announces when they're going to open because um, a lot of the rules are going to be very similar. But I thought with Blackpool Pleasure Beach, it's one of our favourites. It's one that you guys like to know a lot about. And also, they've come out with some different things here to some of the other parks that was certainly worth filming the video and sharing with you all. Uh, they've said here that the wide range of gift and souvenir shops will be open. However, there'll be social distancing, of course, taking place. Um, guests can also visit the online shop and have items delivered to home. Um, much like you can at the moment, you can order your face masks, the Pleasure Beach ones on there um, as well at the moment. So they're really thinking about all this, but the, the food ordering, I really like the idea of that. Um, it says here, some of our guest experiences, such as photograph opportunities with our characters, have been modified or suspended to ensure social distancing. So you can normally meet Wallace and Gromit outside the attraction. Um, you can normally meet some other characters um, around the park. Of course, in Nickelodeon land, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja, turtles and that sort of stuff um, so I imagine some of those you know you might be able to see the characters from a distance but um, yeah the, the way it's been set up will be really interesting to see um, and of course we'll be covering it all when we get to Pleasure Beach when it opens and finally here as well for the safety and well-being of all guests and staff Blackpool Pleasure Beach has a dedicated team of security officers patrolling the park at all times so I'd say they've put that on there at the end just to say you know that these rules have to be followed it's a very small site it's very different to the likes of Alton Tower all these bigger parks um, you know and, and at somewhere like Blackpool Pleasure Beach I'm sure they'll be really looking out to make sure that everyone is following the rules both for the staff safety and everybody out there at the park but uh, there we go if all goes to plan uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach will be opening on the 4th of July the same day as when we can expect Alton Towers Chessington World of Adventures Legoland Windsor and Thorpe Park also to open it's going to be like the start of the season again here in the UK of course Pleasure Beach had already opened back in February this year we'd already had the start of the season however some parks hadn't opened like Thorpe Park for example Alton Towers uh, that they only done some previews um, so yeah this is going to be you know a lot of parks reopening it's going to be a busy few weeks for us at Theme Park Worldwide from this date going to all these different parks and deciding which days we can go and obviously booking in to go uh, with these days and just before I wrap this update up just wanted to say there's no information at the moment for season pass holders we don't know at the moment what's going to happen of course I'd imagine we're going to be having to pre-book for season pass is um, to go however they haven't announced a system or anything for that yet so it's certainly something to follow and we'll keep you up to date as always with all the latest theme park news here on theme park worldwide i'm sean sandbrook thank you very much for watching and that means it's time to cue those credits see you in the next video